As a competitor, competitor in the Special Olympics, he got to know North Texas police officers. He was always greeting them with a smile, telling them how much he appreciated their work. And after 36-year-old Ross Steele died unexpectedly at a swimming practice, many of those same officers paid back his respect by paying their respects at his funeral. Fox 4's Brandon Todd shows us what they did from Arlington. Brandon. Yeah, exactly. And uh, and Ross uh, Steele was in the ROTC when he was at Bowie High School, uh, and it was during that time that he gained an appreciation for the military and for police officers. And and as you said, he gained a respect for them. Well, it was such an impact that many of those officers wanted to pay back that respect at his funeral. The policemen always responded with kindness and goodness towards him, and he picked up on that. The mother of 36-year-old Christopher Ross Steele, who went by Ross, said her son with special needs had more than just an appreciation for law enforcement. And he admired them, and he would always go up to them and thank them for what they did. In the military men, he would always go up and thank them for their service. Ross died nearly two weeks ago, unexpectedly, after what his family said was a heart attack during swim practice. At his funeral, officers from Mansfield, Arlington, and Grand Prairie Police Departments showed their support for Ross just as he supported them. He sees the positive sides of everything and everyone. Negatives are not in his makeup. Since graduating high school, Ross participated in the Special Olympics, competing in events like swimming, basketball, bowling, and most recently, tennis. It was at the Special Olympics and the police meet and greet events where many of these officers met him. We always Smile Mansfield Police Chief Tracy Aaron remembers meeting Ross and posing for this picture. And again, just to see the look on his face whenever he's able to stand in front of that police car and get his picture made was incredible to me as well. Ross had an impact on a lot of people and that he showed so much kindness and love that they're returning that favor now by being here. And Ross's family hopes that anyone inspired by his life will make a donation to the Special Olympics, or even more specifically, Ross's Special Olympics team, the Matt Gators. Natalie? A beautiful mutual respect. All right, thank you, Brandon.